Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to enable and use VNC on your Raspberry Pi. If you don't already know, VNC allows you to stream and control your Raspberry Pi screen from your Windows 10 PC, Mac and smartphone. This way you don't need to connect your Pi to a monitor and you can even copy and paste codes from your PC to your Pi. However, the best part is it's completely free. But before we get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy the tech related content and tutorials that I create, you're welcome to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And now, let's get started. First of all, we need to switch to our Raspberry Pi. Now that we've switched to our Raspberry Pi, we need to update everything first. So go ahead and open the terminal and type in sudo apt get update and hit enter. Once you've done that, you want to install the real VNC viewer. So type in sudo apt get install and now real VNC VNC viewer viewer and hit enter. Okay, finally you want to enable VNC. So hit the Raspberry Pi logo, go to Preferences, Raspberry Pi Configuration, and to Interfaces. Here you can see VNC. Just click Enable and press OK. Now just uh, hold your cursor over the Wi-Fi logo to find out what your IP address is. You just want to remember your Wi-Fi's IP address for now and we're going to switch back to our PC. Alright everyone, I've just switched back to my PC and now you're going to go ahead and download the real VNC viewer for your desktop. Just click on the link in the description below and that will redirect you to the real VNC website. Here you can choose the platform that you're on, if it's Windows, Mac OS, Linux or even your phone. Just go ahead and click download and go through the entire setup process. Okay, once you've finished installing your real VNC viewer, just go ahead and open it up and sign in. I've already signed in, and I'm just going to click on File and New Connection. Now, here you're going to type in your IP address and give your connection a name, in my case, Pi4. Then you can go down and just press OK. Double tap on it, and it should connect. Now you're going to have to type in the username of your Raspberry Pi account, in my case it's just Pi, and the password, type in your password that you've used for your Raspberry Pi, and press remember password. And now you will be redirected to your Raspberry Pi, and you can control your Raspberry Pi over your PC. You can do everything that you would usually do, absolutely everything, and you don't need a second monitor. How great is that? But apart from this tutorial, that'll be it for today. And if you want to know how to install Raspbian on your Pi, just go ahead and check out my previous video. And if you're interested in a great $12 case for your Raspberry Pi 4, just have a look at that video too. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials like this, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.